Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the name that is above every other name. Amen. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. He is the great King. Hallelujah. Most especially, He is your Father. He is my Father. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Father, we thank you this day. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory and adoration, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we welcome your sweet presence in our midst, for you have promised in your word that wherever two or three of your children are gathered in your name, there you will be in their midst. Father, we welcome your presence, for we know that in the presence of the living God, there is liberty for the children of God. There is freedom. Sicknesses are healed. Oh yes, yokes are broken. Chains are broken. When Jesus comes in, the devil has to go out. Hallelujah. Oh, that's why we cherish the sweet presence of God. Hallelujah. Because unless the Lord builds the house, they that labor, they labor in vain. That is why we, we cherish, we adore the King of Kings. We adore him. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Jesus, lover of my soul. Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from the mire clay. You set my feet upon the rock. And now I know I love you. I need you. Though my world may fall, I will never let you go. My Savior, my closest friend, I will worship you until the very end. Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from the mire clay. You set my feet upon the rock, and now I know I love you. I need you. Though my wall may fall, I will never let you go. My Savior, my closest friend, I will worship you until the very end. I will worship you. I will worship this God until the very end. Let us stick with this God until the very end. Let us stay with him. He is a good God. As this song ends with the end, it means there's going to be a day that is called the end. There's going to be an end to sorrows. Hallelujah. There's going to be an end to tribulation. There's going to be an end to all the suffering. Hallelujah. There's going to be an end to all injustices. There's going to be an end. Hallelujah. There's going to be an end. Let's fix our, our minds and our heart on that. Hallelujah. A woman that is pregnant. Hallelujah. She knows that there's going to be a day that she will be free. Hallelujah. There's going to be a day that her joy is going to come. Hallelujah. There's going to be a day that this pregnancy will come 
to, to completion. Hallelujah. And the baby will come out. Hallelujah. So her, her, her mind is set on that day. Hallelujah. So the little cramps here and there, you know, she doesn't mind. Hallelujah. She doesn't mind when the baby is kicking. Hallelujah. The, she doesn't mind when she's vomiting. Sometimes she's having some moods, you know, here and there. Hallelujah. She knows there's a day of delivering. Hallelujah. I just want this word. I hope this word will encourage someone today. Hallelujah. I don't know what we are going through. Hallelujah. But what I know, there's a God in heaven. There's a Jehovah. There's someone in heaven. His name is Jehovah. We cannot see him now. Hallelujah. We cannot see him, but he is there. Hallelujah. His word says that, look at the evidence around you. Hallelujah. Look at the world, the galaxies, the things, hallelujah, that he has created, the mountains, the birds in the, in the sky, the lilies that grow in the field that are clothed, hallelujah, beautifully, but no one has to clothe them, but Jehovah clothes them, hallelujah. There is a God in heaven, and he knows your name, hallelujah. He knows my name. I don't know what you might be going through. I just want to give these words of encouragement to someone out there today. Hallelujah. That there's a God in heaven. That whatever struggles we are going through, you, see, you, you probably see us coming here every day. You hear us. You know, you think maybe, uh, uh, you know, we are, we, we are, you know, shouting the, the name of Jesus because we have no problems. No. Hallelujah. The word of God says in, in 1 Peter, uh, let me read this verse to you. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 9 says, Resist him, be steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood around the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are not alone. You are not alone. The, the same fears that you face we, all face, we are all facing it. The same issues that you face, we are all facing it. Hallelujah. Of course, we are in the world these days where everybody thinks they can fake it. You know, everybody thinks they can just fake it. Hallelujah. But I want to encourage you today, you are not alone. Hallelujah. You are not alone. And Jesus knew this when he said in, in, in Matthew 28. Let me read that for you. In Matthew 28. Matthew 28 verse 20. Matthew 28, verse 20 says, oh, let me see. Say, uh, okay, verse 19 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things, that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you until the end of the age. Hallelujah. Jesus, he has promised that he will be with us. Through the ups and downs, through the disappointments, through the, the, the fear sometimes that we face, through the sicknesses sometimes that we face. But he said, I will be with you. Hallelujah. He said, I will be with you. Hallelujah. Father, as we come to, as we open this time of prayer today, we welcome your sweet presence, O oh God. Holy Spirit, we need you. We need you, O oh God. Father, honor your word. You said I will be with you. You said you will be with your children. Father, sometimes it is hard. Sometimes it is tough. Sometimes we, we are mocked by the enemy. But Lord, you said I will be with you until the end of the age. Today I was just reading 
on the news that uh, a University of Indiana has decided to enforce vaccines, has made vaccines mandatory. Uh, well, the, a judge, a federal judge, kind of upheld that ruling. Now that's just the beginning. We don't know what else is going to come. Hallelujah. And we know that sometimes when it starts like that, you know, other states, other schools, other institutions begin to copy. Amen. What will you do if your job says, you know, uh, you either take the vaccine, or it might be something else, maybe not even vaccine that, you know, but something that you don't want to take, you know. What will you do? And you have your children that you have to feed. What will you do? Those that are attending the University of Indiana right now, how, what are they thinking? You know, when they mandate something that, that does not rest with your spirit, especially an experimental vaccine, Hallelujah. So as we pray, let us remember these things, that Christ, he, will, he, he, he has promised to never leave us. Amen? He has promised to stand with us, even through difficult times. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this time, let us rise up and open this time with prayer. Hallelujah. Let us come before the throne of grace with confidence. He said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. He is a forgiving father. Anyone who tells you that God will not forgive you, he's a liar. Hallelujah. He's trying to stop you, you know, from, from your blessings. He's trying to stop you. Hallelujah. He's not of God. Come to him, all you who are weary, and I'll give you rest. Hallelujah. This is the words of Jesus. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. What is heavy laden? The things, things must be happening in your life to make you heavy laden. Hallelujah. You think about your children, the safety of your children. You think about your bills. Hallelujah. You think about this, you think about sicknesses, the headache that you are feeling. It makes you heavy laden. Hallelujah. But Jesus, he's a compassionate father. He said, come to me, all you that labor and, have, and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Let us come before our Father today. And Father, here I am. I present myself before you. Have mercy upon me, O God. Father, have mercy upon me. Forgive me. I, have, I know I have not done it right all the time. I know that, Father, sometimes the, the thoughts of my heart, Lord, have been anxiety or fear. Father, I need your strength. I need your strength today. We remind you of your word in Second Chronicles. Hallelujah. He said, if my people who are called by my name, hallelujah, shall humble themselves and pray and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Hallelujah. Father, we remind you of a word. You said, put me in remembrance. Put me in remembrance of your word. Father, today we put you in remembrance, O oh God. Father, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, O oh God. Forgive our sins. Forgive and cleanse us, Lord, from every unrighteousness. Cleanse us from iniquities. Cleanse us, Lord, from small sins, from big sins, O oh God. Father, we humble ourselves before you. You are the heavenly Father. Only you can save us. Only you can help us. Lord, if you do not forgive us, who will forgive us, O oh God? Father, we need you this day. We need you, O oh God. We have no help of our own. We have no strength of our own. We have no righteousness of our own. Even our righteousness, our goodness, O oh God, before your, your, your immaculate beauty is like filthy rags. O oh God, we have nothing we can be proud of. But Father... We rest in the assurance of salvation. We rest in the assurance that our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, He came unto this life. He took the pain for us, according to Isaiah 53, verse 5. He took upon Himself our sicknesses. He took our pain. 
He took our shame. He took our mistakes in his own body and he nailed it to the cross. And Father, beautifully, before he gave up the ghost, he said, it is finished. He said, it is finished. He said, it is finished, oh God. And we we revel, we, we, we enjoy, oh God. We take joy. into. In, we hold fast to that word. You said it is finished. Father, today, it doesn't matter what the problem is that we came here with. It doesn't matter. Even those who are here, those who are listening online, it doesn't matter what the situation is, oh God. Whether financial trouble, legal trouble, oh God, marital trouble, whether family trouble, Father, whatever, oh God, that we came here with today, Father, every problem must bow at the name Jesus. Every problem, every sin must bow to the name Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, for at the name, at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ, he is Lord to the glory of God, the Father in heaven. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks. And, Father, if you be for us, who can be against us? Which demon, which principality, Oh yes, which stinking demon can be against us, oh Father? If you are my Father, oh yes, who can change that? Oh yes, hallelujah. I might be a drunkard. I might be a smoker. I might be a prostitute. I might be a failure according to man. But Father, if you are for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh Father, I thank you. We thank you, oh Father. Father, let your living word Fill us today. Fill this sanctuary, O oh God. Let the living spirit of God fill this, fill our hearts today, O oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. We come boldly, O oh God. We come boldly, O oh God. Resting in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, O oh Father. No condemnation, O oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come boldly to the throne of grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. For you have said in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. You said that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Hallelujah. Christ, you have redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for me and my brothers and my sisters, oh God. For it is written, curse is every man that hangeth on a tree, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the, the sinful Gentiles, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, Father, no curse shall stand upon me, shall remain upon me today. No curse shall remain upon my children. No curse shall remain upon my spouse. No curse shall remain upon my household because Christ, you said on the cross, it is finished in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today, people of God, We'll continue with the nation's prayer. Uh, we, wanted, we had wanted to do the uh, foundation's prayer, but the time is well spent already. We'll move on with the, uh, with the uh, nation's prayer. For God has called us. People of God, if we don't pray, we, if we just only complain about the... the the problems in America, the problems will not solve themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan will never say, oh, these people have complained enough. Let me stop. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They will never, Satan will never say that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the word has told us that since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. Hallelujah. Violence and the violence will take it by force. Hallelujah. We need to rise up and stand up for this nation. Hallelujah. We need to rise up, hallelujah, as a people. And as our mother in the Lord always says that we have fought enough battles in the physical. Hallelujah. We have attended enough rallies, you know, but in the millions, but nothing changes. Hallelujah. She makes example of the abortion law that was passed many decades ago. You know, there were rallies, millions of people rallying, Christians with good intentions, hallelujah, but the law still passed, hallelujah. Why? Because these are spiritual battles, hallelujah. So today, we, 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 we are going to engage the kingdom of darkness, hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. God must answer us, hallelujah. 
God must answer us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. The word of God says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. It says, I exhort thee, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the book of Jeremiah, it says, See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over kingdoms, to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We confess the sins of this land. Let us confess the sins of America, the murders, the murders. The word of God says as righteousness will exalt a nation, but sin will be a reproach to the people, hallelujah. Let us confess the sins of this nation, the, the corporate sin, hallelujah, the collective sins, the sins of this nation, the murders, the injustices, the, 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 the corruption in high places, the, the, the bitterness, the bloody riots, hallelujah, the rebellion, the shedding of innocent blood, oh, for the occultism, the witchcraft in this nation, the satanism, the loss, the perversion, oh yes, Father, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O God. Father, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, O God. Father, forgive us, O God. And cleanse us, Lord, from all unrighteousness. O Father, cleanse this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Who said that God cannot hear the prayer of one man that stands for this nation? Nehemiah was one man. He inquired about the, the, the state of his people, the whole nation of Israel. And that report disturbed him. He went into intercession, fasting and praying for the, people, for, the, for the nation of Israel. And God heard him. Hallelujah. So God will hear us. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the number. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray, oh God, that God will have mercy on this land and redeem America in the name of Jesus. Oh, let the Redeemer himself come and redeem us. Come and redeem us, oh God. Redeem us from the, from the, <laughs> from the plans of the enemy against for this nation. Redeem us from the plans of the enemy, oh God. Redeem us, oh God. Oh, Father, from judgment, oh God, redeem this nation. Father, redeem us, oh God. Father, redeem America. Redeem this land. Oh, Father, have mercy. Let your forgiveness, oh God, oh, come to this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, speak for us, oh God, son of David. Let the blood of Jesus speak for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the healing power begin to operate in America. Oh, yes. The cancers, the Alzheimer's, the COVID, the Delta COVID. All these ailments in a very rich nation like America, plagued with disease. Father, your word says in Isaiah, Oh God, 53 verse 5. Father, you said you were wounded for our transgressions, oh God. You were wounded for our transgressions, oh God. Oh Father, the punishment that brought us peace was upon you. And by your stripes we are healed, Father. Father, we remind you of your word. Oh Father, heal this nation. Heal America, oh God. Heal this land, oh God. Heal this land of corruption. Heal this land of division. Heal this land of sin. Oh God, heal this land, Father. Lord, heal this land. Heal every household. Heal every mental disorder in this land. Oh, heal every drug addiction, oh God. Heal every addiction, sexual addiction, drug addiction, oh Father, in this land. In the mighty name of Jesus. The greed, the chronic greed, the chronic greed in this land. Oh, Father, heal this land. 
In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let all forces of darkness hindering the move of God in this nation be rendered impotent in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, all forces of darkness hindering, those forces that are hindering the move of God, let them be rendered impotent right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The forces of darkness that are hindering the move of God be broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind them and we cast them into the bottomless pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind them and we cast them into the bottomless pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We command the spiritual strong man in charge of this nation be bound and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the spiritual strong man in this nation to be bound and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. We command the spiritual strong man in this nation to be bound and disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the spiritual strong man in this nation, in this country, to be bound and be disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command every spiritual strong man in our nation, every spiritual strong man speaking over our homes, every spiritual strong man speaking over the churches of this nation, every spiritual strong man in the heavenlies, we command you to be bound and disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every evil establishment satanic tree in this nation be uprooted, cast into the fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil establishment, every satanic tree, we command you to be uprooted now, uprooted now, uprooted now, and cast into the fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil establishment, every satanic tree that's trying to come into existence, we command you to be uprooted now and consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, we command every evil establishment, satanic tree in this nation, over our homes, over our lives, over our siblings, over our loved ones, we command it to be bound now, tied down, cast into the fire, in the mighty name of Jesus, we turn it into firewood now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we command the fire of the living God upon every evil establishment, upon every satanic tree in this nation, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We come against every spirit of the Antichrist that's working against this nation. We command them to be permanently frustrated now in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every spirit of the Antichrist. We command you to be permanently frustrated now in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against that spirit of the Antichrist. That spirit of the Antichrist that's been around since Jesus came. We command you to be permanently frustrated now for the Lord says that we will do marvelous and wonderful things and this thing we shall do as believers we command that spirit to be bound frustrated cast out of this nation in the mighty name of Jesus we command the spirit of the Antichrist to be cast out now working against this nation we command you to be frustrated in Jesus name we pray we command the stones of fire from God to fall upon every national satanic operation and activity in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the stones of fire of God to fall upon every national satanic operation happening in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the stones of fire of God to fall upon every national satanic operation operating in the church. We command the fire of God fall upon all satanic operations operating in our homes in our minds against man and woman we command the stones of fire of God we command it to fall fall upon fall upon fall upon fall upon every national satanic operation and activity in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray 
Let the desires, the plans, devices, expectations of the enemies of this nation be completely frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the desires, the plans of this nation, of, of the enemy in this nation to be completely frustrated now in the mighty name of Jesus. For the word of God says they may come one way, but they will flee seven ways. They may come, oh Lord God, but we know they will disband. They may come to set a pit for us, but your word says the pit was dug for them. Almighty and excellent God, we command, we command, oh Lord God, let the desires, the plans, the vices, expectations of the, for the enemy of this country let, to be completely frustrated now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every satanic curse on this nation fall down to the ground and die in the mighty name of Jesus. We command every satanic curse upon this nation to fall down to the ground and die now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every satanic curse upon this great nation, every satanic curse upon the church, every satanic curse operating in our airways, operating in our medicine, operating in our finances, operating in our lives, operating on our TV screens, operating in our media, we command every satanic curse to fall down now and die in the mighty name of Jesus. For we know we don't fight against flesh and blood, but we're fighting principalities. We're fighting rulers in high places. So we command every satanic curse that's placed upon this nation to fall down to the ground and die. We pull out every principality from the air that is commanding satanic curses in our lives. We command it to fall down to the ground now and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, as we have placed ourselves as a nation, one nation under God, let us not be cursed, almighty and excellent God. For your word says, O Lord God, that those, O Lord God, that are innocent shall not receive the curses sent, O Lord God, from anybody. So in your mighty name, O Lord God, we ask, Father God, O mighty and excellent God, that every satanic curse on this nation fall down to the ground and die in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray by the blood of Jesus let all sins ungodliness idolatry vices cease now in the land in the mighty name of Jesus let every sin every idolatry every ungodliness every vice cease now in the land in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus every sin idolatry ungodliness that's caging this nation we command you to die now we give you your exit papers now in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus, let every sin, ungodliness, idolatry, and vices access our gates now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We break every evil covenant and dedication that's made upon this land now in the mighty name of Jesus. We break every evil covenant, every evil dedication made upon this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We break it now. We break every evil covenant, every dedication made upon this land from Lucifer, from Satan. We break every evil covenant, dedication made upon this land for the love of money. We break every evil covenant and dedication that's been made upon this land from corporations, we break every evil covenant and dedication made upon this land. From presidents, we break every evil covenant and dedication made upon this land. From all wickedness, all rulers of darkness, we break every evil covenant, dedication made upon this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over this nation. We plead the blood of Jesus over this land. We plead the blood of Jesus over our homes. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children. We plead the blood of Jesus over our bodies, over our nation, over our streets. We plead the blood of Jesus over our cities. We plead the blood of Jesus over our provinces. We plead the blood of Jesus over the doorposts of this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree the will of God for this land, whether the devil likes it or not, is not our business. We decree the will of God for this nation. We decree the will of God for this nation. Whether the devil likes it or not, is not our business. We decree the will of God for this nation. For we know, let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and so shall it be. We decree the will of God for this nation. Whether the devil likes it or not, is not our business. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree 
the will of God over this United States and its territories. We decree the will of God over the children in this nation. We decree the will of God over the church in this nation. We decree the will of God over our families in this nation. We decree the will of God over our siblings, our spouses, our parents in this nation. We decree the will of God over the future generations. We decree the will of God over the United States of America and its territories in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let all contrary powers and authorities in America be confounded and put to shame now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every contrary power and authority upon this land be confounded and put to shame now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command every contrary power, every contrary tongue, every contrary power to be put to shame now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every contrary power that's visiting our judicial system, we command you to be put to shame now in the mighty name of Jesus. For this land we have spoken will be the land of the free and the home of the brave. Since we have prophesied on this nation, we command every contrary power against these words to be put to shame now in the mighty name of Jesus. For this land was prophesied upon that in God we trust, that this is the land of the free and the home of the brave. So therefore, every contrary power, every contrary authority upon Upon this nation, we confound you and we put you to shame now in the mighty name of Jesus. We close every satanic gate open in our cities, in our states, in our senate, in our congress, in our executive branch, in our judicial branch. We close every satanic gate that's been opened in the realms. We close every satanic gate that's been opened in the heavens. We close every satanic gate that's been opened in the seas. We close every satanic gate that's been opened on the land in the mighty name of Jesus with the power of the mighty God we close every satanic gate that's been opened to allow evil in we close you now and everything that's come out of you hear me all gate we send to the pits of hell now in the mighty name of Jesus almighty and excellent God with all authority you have given us we close every satanic gate and let every evil throne that has been established in this nation be dashed to pieces now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil throne that has been established in our cities, in our towns, in our generations, in our family, we command you to be dashed to pieces now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil throne that has been established in our children, in our schools, in our governments, we command you to be dashed to pieces now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil throne throne that has been open in the minority communities. We hear us now. We dash you down and we send you to the pits in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We bind all negative forces that operates against the lives of leaders in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind every negative force operating in the lives of Christians in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind every negative force operating in the lives of children in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind every negative force operating in the lives of Americans in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We we bind every negative force that operates on our judicial system. We bind every negative force that operates in our lobby groups. We bind every negative force operating against this nation, operating in our legislation. We bind every negative force operating against this nation, operating against our work, operating against the church. We bind you now and we send you to the pits in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, lay your hands of fire, lay your hands of power upon our very leaders in the mighty name of Jesus. Lay your hands of fire. Lay your hands of power upon our leaders, O oh Lord. Lay your hands of fire. Lay your hands of power upon our judicial system. Lay your hands of fire and power upon our executive branch. Lay your hands of fire and power upon our Senate. Lay your hands of fire and power upon our local governments, upon our school systems. Lay your hands of fire and power upon every man, woman, and child 
in this nation. Redeem us, O oh Lord God, from the curse of the enemy. Redeem us, O oh Lord God, from the plot of the wicked. Redeem us, O oh Lord God. Redeem us. Lay your hands of fire and power upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every blood drinking demon in this nation drink its own blood and eat of its own flesh. As the word says, every blood drinking demon in this nation will eat of its own blood and drink of its own flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Every blood drinking demon that has brought Corona to this level, eat of your own blood, drink of your own flesh. Every blood drinking demon that has brought abortions to this level, eat of your own blood, drink of your own flesh. Every blood drinking demon that has brought our children into perversion, drink of your own blood, eat of your own flesh. Every blood drinking demon that is legalizing drug use, making it seem fun. Every blood drinking demon, we command you to eat of your own blood, drink of your own flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Let the Prince of Peace reign in every department. Let the Prince of Peace reign in every department. The Prince of Peace that turns over money tables, let him reign in every department. The Prince of Peace that goes in, the one that calls light out of darkness. The Prince of Peace that calls light out of darkness. We command him to reign. We command him to reign. We command him to reign from the north, south, east, and west. We command him to reign. We command it now. We command it now in our judicial system. We command the Prince of Peace to come in. In the mighty name of Jesus, we take authority in the spirit right now in Jesus name. Let every anti-gospel spirit that's frustrated this nation be rendered impotent now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every anti-gospel spirit that has snuffed out the word, that has changed the word, that has caused weak Christians to come out, we command you to be rendered impotent now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every anti-gospel spirit that has quenched the word, that has quenched the moving of the word, that has created a separation of church and state, we command you to be rendered impotent now in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy every anti-gospel spirit in the spirit now in the mighty name of Jesus. We render you impotent now. We send the sword of fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, give us leaders who will see their roles as a calling instead of an opportunity to amass wealth. Give us leaders, oh God, that will see their roles as a calling, not an opportunity to amass wealth. Give us leaders, oh Lord God, with the heart like David. Give us leaders, oh Lord God, with a heart like David. Take these soul leaders away from us, oh Lord God. Give us leaders, oh Lord God. Oh, give us leaders that will see their role as an opportunity to serve you, as an opportunity to serve you. Give us leaders, oh Lord God, that will take their role with the consciousness you've given them to lead. Give us leaders, oh Lord God, with hearts that is in your hand. Give us leaders, oh Lord God, as you said in the Bible. Give us leaders leaders, oh Lord God, whose heart is in your hand. Oh Lord, let our leaders follow the counsel of God, not of man and demons. Let our leaders follow the living word of God. Let our leaders follow the kingdom principles. Let our leaders follow the living word of God, not of man, not of demons. Let our leaders come out of confusion. Let our leaders come out of Marxism. Let our leaders come out of Darwinism. Let our leaders come out of fraudism. Let our leaders come out of every ism that man has created created every anti-gospel spirit that has spoken and created atheists that have become men that we now use their minds to govern this nation. We command you to shut down now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let our leaders come out of demonology. Let our leaders come out of covens. Let our leaders be freed now from covens. Let our leaders be freed now from every sexual de demon. Let our leaders be freed now from every sexual demon. Let our leaders be freed now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Let our leaders have wisdom and knowledge of God. Let our leaders have the wisdom and the knowledge of God. For we know, O oh Lord God, that people die for the lack thereof understanding. Let our leaders have understanding, O oh Lord God. Let our leaders have wisdom and knowledge of God. We know that the fear of you, O oh Lord God, is the beginning of wisdom. 
Almighty God, let our leaders have knowledge and wisdom of you, O Lord God. Let our leaders have knowledge and wisdom of you, O Lord God, that our futures will be bright, that we will be led down the path of righteousness, O Lord God. Let our leaders have wisdom and knowledge, O Lord God. Let this government be the kind that will obtain your direction and your leading, O perfect one. Let this government be the kind that will obtain your direction and your leading in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every, every satanic altar that's in this country receive the fire of God and be burned to ashes now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command every satanic altar in this nation, receive the fire of God now, be burned to ashes now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command every satanic altar to receive the judgment fire of God now and be burned to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Every grove, every altar, every high place, every low place, we command you to receive the judgment fire of God now and be burned to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We silence every satanic prophet, every satanic priest and practitioner in the mighty name of Jesus. We forbid them from interfering with the affairs of this nation. We silence every satanic prophet, priest and practitioner from every point of contact in this nation, from every church in this nation. We silence every satanic priest, prophet, practitioner. We command them to be destroyed now, silence now. Let them come to nothing now in the mighty name of Jesus. We silence every satanic priest, every satanic practitioner, every satanic prophet. We command them to come to nothing in this nation. Let the mighty hand of God destroy them, interfere with their affairs, O Lord. In your mighty name, O Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse our land from every blood pollution in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, cleanse our nation. Cleanse our nation, Lord God. Cleanse us from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Blood of Jesus, cleanse this nation. Cleanse this nation. Blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus that was shed, that healed the nation. The blood of Jesus that sprinkled brings healing. The blood of Jesus, the redeeming blood of Jesus. We ask, oh Lord God, that you share it with this nation. Blood of Jesus, cleanse our land from all blood pollution. For we know, Lord God, that the very land can cry against us. Father, silence the cry that comes out of the land, O Lord God. Let your blood go into the foundations of this nation. Let your blood go into the foundations of this nation. Let your blood go into the water tables of this nation. Let your blood run, O Lord God. Run without stopping, O Lord God. Enter into the heavens, Lord God, into the foundation, into the waters, O Lord God. Blood of Jesus, Cleanse us, O oh Lord God, from the pollution, O oh Lord God, from the pollution, O oh Lord God, from man against man, from the pollution, O oh Lord God, from demons against man. Cleanse us, O oh Lord God, cleanse us, O oh Lord God, from where the enemy has brought us. Cleanse us, O oh Lord God, from where we have brought ourselves. Cleanse us, O oh Lord God, cleanse us, O oh blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, oh blood of Jesus, interfere in our nation, in Jesus' name name we pray. Amen. We command the fire of God on all idols, sacrifices, rituals, shrines, local satanic thrones in this nation to be silenced now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the fire, the judgment fire of God on every idol, every sacrifice, every ritual, every shrine, every local satanic throne in this nation. We command the fire of God on all palm readers. We command the fire of God on all sages. We command the fire of God on all witchcraft. We command the fire of God on all false doctrine, doctrine of demons. We command the fire of God. We command the fire of God on all idols, satanic shrines, local satanic thrones. We command the fire of God on all false churches. We command the fire of God, almighty and excellent God. We command the fire of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
We break any conscious and unconscious agreements made between the people of this nation and Satan. We break every conscious and unconscious agreements made between the people of this nation and Satan. We break it now. We break, we break, we break, we break, we break, we break, we break every conscious, every unconscious agreement made between the people of this nation and Satan. We break every conscious and unconscious agreements made between the people of this nation and Satan, oh Lord God. For we saw how Jacob tricked Esau just by food, oh Lord God. So we break every conscious and unconscious agreements made between the people of this nation and Satan. We break every conscious and unconscious agreements, oh Lord God, when we agreed, oh Father God, to separate church and state. We break that conscious, unconscious agreement, oh Lord God. When we agreed, oh Lord God, to allow televisions into every one of our homes, we break that conscious agreement, unconscious agreement, oh Lord God. When we allowed, oh Lord God, the adult industry to dictate our television screens, we break every unconscious agreement, oh Lord God. We break every conscious and unconscious agreement, oh Lord God. When we elected presidents in, oh Lord God, even though we knew that they did not go according to your word, we break every conscious and unconscious agreement, oh Lord God. When we allowed the nation to separate our dollar, oh Lord God, from our government, we break every conscious and unconscious agreement in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, we dedicate and claim all the cities in this nation. We dedicate and claim every state in this nation back to the Lord Jesus. We dedicate and claim all our states, oh Lord God, and our territories. We dedicate and claim every state and territory belonging to this nation back to you, oh Lord God. We ask that the Prince of Peace come into every state, all our territories, oh Lord God. We dedicate, we rededicate ourselves, oh Lord God. We bring this nation to your throne room. We bring this nation to the foot of your altar, oh Lord God. Oh, Father God, we rededicate this nation back to you, O oh Lord God, every city and state, every province, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Let the blessings, let the presence of the Lord be experienced in these states, in these cities, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be that the blessings, let it be that the presence of the Lord is experienced in all these cities, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blessings, the presence of the Lord be experienced in all these cities, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to the living God. In Jesus' name we pray. For those who are praying with us online, we apologize for the break because just when we are ready to go into deep prayer, the in that's when the internet decided to go out on us. Amen. You know, you know when you are doing the right thing. Hallelujah. The enemy is not happy. Hallelujah. But we are back on. We thank God. We are back on. Amen. We continue with our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for connecting us again. Amen. So our brothers and sisters across the world will join us in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Oh, yes, we bless your name. We bless your name, Father. Father, let, there be, let us hunger. Make us to hunger and thirst, oh God. Create the hunger and thirst for righteousness. The hunger and thirst for, for your word. Oh God, to read your word and to pursue righteousness and holiness, oh God. Oh Father, make us to hunger. Make us to hunger and thirst for you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Father, make us to hunger. Put your, your word in our hearts, oh God. Make us to hunger and thirst for you. For righteousness, oh Father, in this nation of America, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we pray that you deposit your spirit of revival in America. Let the spirit of revival, let your revival fire, oh God. Your revival fire. Let it come into our homes. Your revival fire in our churches, oh God. Oh, Father, you said that you wish that we are, we are called or, or hot, oh, Father. But because those, they are will you come, you will speak them out, oh, Father. Make us hot for you, oh, God. Make us hot for you. Make us hot for you. Oh, yes, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, Father, lay your hands of power and might upon our armed forces, upon our police, oh God. Oh, Father, all government establishments, institutions, oh, Father, 
and universities, colleges, schools, or for the hospitals in this nation, Father, lay your hands of fire. Lay your hands of fire, oh God. Father, we pray for our armed forces, oh God. Oh, those that are coming from Afghanistan, oh God. Those, oh God, from Iraq, oh Father. Father, we pray for them, oh God. Oh, Father, we pray for them. We pray for your people. Father, bless them. Oh, Father, bless them. Father, protect our armed forces. Protect our soldiers, oh Father. We pray for Afghanistan, oh God. We pray for Afghanistan, for the people of Afghanistan, oh God. Father, who have been suffering through war, many wars, oh God. Father, the children, the women of Afghanistan, oh God. Father, they can see the enemy coming. They can see Taliban coming, oh God, to subjugate the children, to subjugate the women of that land, oh Father. Father, arise, oh God, for the innocent people of Afghanistan. Arise, oh God, and be their shield, oh God. Fight for them, oh Father, and save this nation. Oh Father, most especially make your name great in Afghanistan. Afghanistan will be saved in Jesus' name. Oh, Pakistan will be saved in Jesus' name. Father, send forth your word in these difficult countries, oh God. Send forth your word, oh God, in these difficult places, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your resurrection power, oh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, fall upon our economy in the name of Jesus, especially the economy of Christians in this nation. Oh, Father, for your word says in Psalm 37, it said, once I was young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Oh, Father, may we remember this verse, oh God, when we are in difficult times, when we think, oh God, where is the next rent going to come from? Where is the next mortgage going to come from? Where is food going to come from? Where is job going to come from? Father, may we remember the promises of the Lord. Oh yes, for the wise man said in Psalm 37, he said, once I was young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Oh, now his children or her children begging bread. Oh, Father, we shall not beg for bread. Father, resurrect our economy. Resurrect our businesses. Those businesses that are failing, Father, resurrect them, oh God. Those businesses that are failing, Father, resurrect them, oh God. Especially those of the household of faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, help us, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be fruitfulness and prosperity in every area of this country in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let there be fruitfulness. Fruitfulness and prosperity. Fruitfulness. Fruitful. Make us fruitful, oh God. Make us fruitful. Fruitful in our finances. Fruitful in our finances. Fruitful in our bodies, oh God. Fruitful, oh God, in our bodies. Fruitful, oh God, in our work with you. Fruitful, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, prune us so we, might, so we shall be a fruit, oh God. So it might be a fruit for you. Good fruit, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. We command every threat to our political, economic stability to this nation be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every threat to America, every threat to our stability as a nation, every threat to our unity as a nation, as a people, any threat to our unity, oh Father, we come against it by fire and by thunder. Those cyber attacks, those plotting cyber attacks against America, oh, to set our economy in disarray. Father, we come against them by fire. We send the arrows of, uh, of fire upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, arise, oh God, and let our enemies be scattered. Arise for your people. Arise for this nation. Father, arise for America, oh God. Father, arise, oh God, for America. Father, arise for us. Oh, fight for the nation. Fight for our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Send your mighty angels into America to defend America. Send your mighty angels to defend this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We frustrate every satanic external influence over this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic nation planning to paralyze, to cripple America. Oh yes, to, to, to flood our financial system. Oh Father, we come against you. 
you that are planning to bring our financial institutions to, the, to, the, to its knees, we come against you today. We, set, we come against you with a rod of iron in the mighty name of Jesus. We break your back in the name of Jesus. We bind you and we cast you into the bottomless pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. The spirit of the living God is against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Koriandara Bakashata. Remandara Boko Kendi Yakanda Koke Sheke Makata. In Jesus' name we pray. We command confusion and disagreement among the sons of the bondwoman planning to cage this nation or planning to cage any nation in this world in the mighty name of Jesus. Just today we had another 140 boys who were abducted in northern Nigeria. Hallelujah. From a Baptist school. Children going to school were abducted by the sons and the daughters of the bondwoman. Oh, father. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Father, we are tired, oh God. We are tired of this. Ay, 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 ay. Father, arise for them. Arise for your children. Arise for us, oh God. Father, arise. Father, arise, oh God. Oh, Father, fight for these children. Fight for these children, oh God. Father, fight for these children. We know these kind of things don't make the news because they are Christians. They don't make the news. They are poor. They don't make the news. But Father, arise for them. Wherever those children are, we deliver them. Send your mighty angels, oh God. 140 boys, oh, from the Baptist high school. Father, oh God, send your mighty angels. Send your warring angels to deliver these children. To deliver them, oh God, by the mighty strong arm of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, cripple, oh God, this ideology, oh Father. Cripple, oh God, send them in disarray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You son of the bond woman. Ay, 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 ay. You uncircumcised Philistine. That want to defile the people of the living God. Today we come against you. Today we expose you. Today we come against you. By fire and by thunder. We stand with them. We stand with those little boys. We stand with those defenseless children. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bring an end to your works. We bring an end to your works. We bring an end to your works. You satanic devil, we come, we come against you. We send the host of heaven. We release the host of angels from heaven to deliver those boys and then girls in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we send the host of heaven, angelic host. Oh, yes, angel Michael, where are you? We send you on assignment. Gather your legion of angels to deliver those boys right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Gather your mighty angels wherever Christians are being oppressed, wherever believers are being oppressed. Those that those are in jail, those that have been persecuted around the world. Father, release them, oh God. Father, fight for them, oh God. Father, fight for them, oh God. Stand with your children, those that have been dragged to court. Father, we pray, oh God. Father, that you help them. Oh, Father, you be, oh God, our, our lawyer. We be their deliverer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, help us, oh God. Help your people, Father. We lift our eyes unto the hills from where cometh our help. Our help comes from no other, but our help comes from Jehovah, who created the heavens and the earth. Oh, Father, help us, oh God. Help your people. Help your people this day. Father, hear from heaven. Hear from heaven. Look down upon your children with mercy. Look down upon your children with mercy, oh God. Like in the days of Nehemiah. Oh, Father, you sent a deliverer. Father, send a deliverer today. Oh, God, to deliver your people. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We paralyze. And we, we break every covenant. We break every covenant between satanic external influence and our leaders. In the name of Jesus. Those leaders that are going to, to Satan to sell their soul just to destroy this country. Father, we break that covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we break every covenant. Oh, yes, we break every covenant made against our children. Father, we break every covenant made to, 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 to make the children of this country more crazy, addicted to drugs. Oh, Father, we break that covenant. 
We break that covenant with Satan. We break every covenant against this nation. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every evil covenant made against this nation be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. We paralyze the spirit of wastage of our economic resources, our taxpayers' money, our economic resources going to the wrong hands. Father, we cancel. We cancel our no more. Will our taxpayer money go, go to, to fund abortion? Father, no more. Father, we refuse, oh God. We refuse, oh God, to let our money fund abortion. We refuse, oh God, to let our money end in the hands of terrorist nations, of, of nations that hate America. Father, we refuse, oh God, wither those hands, wither those hands, those hands that give our money to wickedness. Father, wither those hands in the mighty name of Jesus. We release confusion upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. We release confusion, oh God, upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we use our money for righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. We change course. We change our course, oh Father. Let our money go to fund the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let our taxpayer money go to expand the kingdom of God to deliver the, 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 the bound, the captive, oh God. Oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the spirit of boring depart completely from the household of Christians of this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the, let the spirit of boring depart, oh God, from the household of Christians. Father, let the spirit of boring, oh God, Father, make us lenders, oh God, and not borrowers. Who, whoever calls on the name of Jesus, make us lender, prosper us in this nation. Make the heathen favorable towards us. Father, like you did for the people of Israel. Oh yes, when they were in the land of Egypt. Make the people, oh God, make the heathen, oh God, favorable toward us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, and when, when we are blessed, help us to use, oh God, the money wisely in the, and the wealth wisely, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, Lord, show yourself mighty in the affairs of America. Oh, Lord, Father, show yourself mighty. Lord, show yourself mighty. Oh, in this nation, do a new thing in America, oh, God. Oh, Father, do a new thing. Father, that will show your greatness. Do a new thing. Oh, God, that the healing will know that we serve a living God that we serve a mighty God. Like in the days of Elijah, let fire come down from heaven. Oh, Father, let fire come down from heaven and destroy the works of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Let fire, we call on fire from heaven and destroy the works of Satan. Oh, yes, for it is for the word says in James, oh, God, chapter 3, verse 8, for this reason, the Son of God, uh, in first john chapter 3 verse 8 it says that for this reason the son of god was manifested to destroy the the works of the devil in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you in jesus name we pray let the kingdom of our lord jesus christ come into the hearts of every person in this country in the name of jesus father let the kingdom of god be established in our hearts oh in the in the heart of children in the heart of the young people, in the heart of old men, old women, oh God, in this nation. Establish the kingdom of God that no man will have to tell another, know the Lord. For we shall all know you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Even the heathen will know you. Even the atheists will know you. Oh, even the drunkards will stop drinking, oh God, and come to you. The drug addicts, oh God, will leave their drugs, oh Father, and come back to you. The prostitutes, oh God, will come back to you. Oh, Father, the, the, the warmongers, oh God, Father, will, will, will abandon their weapons and come back to you. Oh, the, the, the cheaters, the corrupt, oh God, of the land, oh, will leave, oh God, their, their, their theft, oh God, and come back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray that God will have mercy upon our nation. Yes, let God have mercy. 
Oh, yes, Father, have mercy upon America. Have mercy upon, oh, God, our states, our cities, our household. Father, have mercy. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Oh, Lord, let's pray that God, let the glory of God, the glory that departed from this nation, let it come back. Let the glory let be restored. Let the glory be restored in this nation. The glory that has departed from this nation because of our sin, because of rebellion against the word of God. The glory that has departed because of hatred of one another. Oh, let the glory come back. We pray that the glory come back in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let all unevangelized areas of this nation be rich with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All unevangelized areas, the places that the gospel has not reached. Oh yes, let the gospel go. Let the gospel go forth in the name of Jesus. We pray for the gospel. Let the gospel be go and permeate every heart in this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. And we pray that God will prepare us. Let God send laborers in his vineyard. Yes, he said the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Father, enable us. Prepare us. Quicken our mortal bodies. Oh, Father, send more. Send more people. Oh, God, give us more laborers. Oh, Father, send more laborers. Oh, Father, help people, Lord. Help more people to answer the call. Oh, Father, to, 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 to expand the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. We dismantle the stronghold of poverty in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, we dismantle the stronghold of poverty, not only in America, but in the nations of the world. The stronghold of poverty. Yes, the stronghold of poverty, especially in the household of God. Oh Lord, no more will our ministers compromise. No more will Christians continue to compromise because they have to feed their family. No more will should Christians, oh God, continue to, come to compromise. Oh Father, for one reason or the other. Father, get remove poverty. Rebuke poverty today in the lives of children of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh Lord, install the agenda of the Lord Jesus Christ in America in the mighty name of Jesus. Install your agenda. Father, install your agenda. Father, install your agenda. Oh God, install your agenda. In your agenda, oh God. Father, that which you have planned. Father, you said in your word that I know the thoughts that I think towards you, oh God. Thoughts for good and not for evil. Father, install that agenda. Let that agenda be materialized in America. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every power of darkness operate in the lives of our educational institutions. Oh, be disgraced, oh God. Oh, Father, every institution that is caging the minds of young people. Father, today put an end to it in the mighty name of Jesus. Change the curriculums, oh God. Bring new administrators, oh Father. Bring new teachers. Oh God, change the heart of those, oh Father, who have walked away from you. Oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. The agenda, oh God, to, 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 to teach godlessness, to teach rebellion to our children. Oh Father, against the living God. Father, intervene, oh God. Intervene, Father. We paralyzed and disgraced, oh God, the agenda of globalists, oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we paralyze their works. Burn their works with, with fire, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every satanic uh, representative of, of, of key posts in this country be dismantled today. In the mighty name of Jesus, satanic representatives, oh, be dismantled. Be dismantled and disgraced. Be paralyzed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, we put an end to their works in this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we put an end to every satanic representative, satanic politicians. We put an end to their works in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we dethrone them. We dethrone them in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Let every evil spiritual throne 
behind every physical throne in this nation be dismantled right now in the name of Jesus every evil king be dismantled every evil throne in this nation be dismantled every evil legal legal entity oh yes be dethroned right now be scattered in the name of Jesus let God arise and let our enemies be scattered oh father where they plan where they make those plans to cage this nation to make bad laws to cage Christians oh father we come against those lawmakers that, 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 that want to oppress the church in this nation. Those lawmakers that want to hinder the, the kingdom of God in this nation. We come against you. We release the angels of God. We release the spirit of confusion upon you right now. You lawmakers that want to make those laws that, that, that will catch the Christians in this nation. We come against you. We put an end to your work in the mighty name of Jesus. We dethrone you. We depose you in Jesus' name. Let another take his place or her place in Jesus' name. As we decree, so shall it be. God will get rid of them. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every satanic covenant made on behalf of this country be nullified in the name of Jesus. Every satanic covenant made on behalf of this nation be nullified today. Be nullified today in the name of Jesus. Every satanic covenant made on behalf of America be nullified. Every covenant, every covenant where they, 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 they pronounce bad things over our children. Every covenant where they make laws. Every covenant where they arrange to cage the minds of young people in this nation. Father, we scatter them by fire in the name of Jesus. We scatter them by fire by fire and by thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. We trample upon serpents and scorpions of ethnic clashes, racial clashes, divisions, debauchery, sin and iniquity in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, according to the word of God in Luke 10, 19, it says, Behold, I give you authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you, says the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we trample upon them. We trample upon them. We trample upon their powers. We, we demolish them. We scatter them, we smash them to pieces. We trample upon the works of the enemy in this nation. The works of the enemy in our lives. That we trample upon the works of the enemy in our health, in our finances. We trample upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. We trample upon the plans of the enemy for your, our future. Every evil plan for our future. Every evil plan for our destiny. Every evil plan for our children. We trample upon it. We trample upon it. According to Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give you power to trample upon snakes and scorpions. And over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing, absolutely nothing, shall by any means hurt you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we pray. We decree a realignment of the situation around Christians in this nation to favor them. In the name of Jesus, we decree a realignment around Christians. Yes, a realignment. We, we decree and declare. The word of God says, whatsoever the two of you shall agree upon on earth shall be agreed upon in heaven. Father, a realignment. Oh, Father, oh, to favor your children. Oh, Father, those that are in court, Father, let the case be favor them, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let it work in their favor. Those that are in financial difficulty, turn situation around so it favors them. Those that are sick, oh, Father, turn the health situation around in the name of Jesus. Those that are fearful of losing their job, losing their jobs because of COVID, Father, turn the situation around. Those that have been given ultimatums to take vaccines or they lose their jobs. Father, turn the situation around. Those that are making those evil laws, Father, strike them. Strike them, oh God. Oh, Father, in a way that they will know that there, there is a living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, those that want to oppress your children, strike them. Oh, Father, afflict them, oh Father. Oh, Father, that they will know that they will not mess. They should not mess with the children of God in this nation and around the world. In Jesus' name we pray. 
In Jesus' name we pray. We dethrone every strange king installed in the spirit over this country. In the name of Jesus. We dethrone every strange king. Every strange king. Every strange king in this nation. We dethrone. Be dethroned right now. Oh yes, you unknown king. You strange king. You, you king. Yes, that does not obey the word of God. We dethrone you right now. We send confusion into you in the mighty name of Jesus. Be dethroned right now. Be dethroned, you strange king. You evil king. Be destroyed forever. And let another take your place. Let righteousness take your place. In Jesus' name we pray. Let all principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places militating against this nation against the people of god against our households militating powers of darkness plotting against innocent children oh we come against you we come against you we bind you we bind you and we cast you into hell we cut you into pieces we bind you in we bind you and we destroy your plans in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Kandaraboko shikriya kabakashata. Re bandarabaka shikri bakashata. Re ba 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 ba. Kendereboko shikri bakashata. We bind you. We bind you. We bind you forever. Oh, you evil forces that want to cage this nation. You evil forces that want to cage the children of God. You evil forces that want to change the cage the men and women oh, of this nation. You evil forces that want to cage our, our finances, our businesses. The church of God will come against you today. We bind you. Yes, with locks can that can never be opened. We bind you with chains of fire. Oh, yes. And we, in, we, we put you in the prison of hell. Never to rise again. All of you, we bind you. In Jesus' name we pray. Let righteousness reign in our homes. Let righteousness reign in our hearts. Let righteousness reign in our children's hearts. Let righteousness reign oh, in, the, in, the, in our corridors of power in this nation. Let righteousness reign in this nation. In the atmosphere above this place. In the atmosphere, let righteousness reign. In every state in America, let righteousness reign. In America, in the mighty name of Jesus, in our schools, in our institutions, in our, in our colleges, let righteousness reign. In our hospitals, let righteousness reign. In Hollywood, yes, Hollywood, let righteousness reign in Las Vegas. Let righteousness in Washington, D.C. Let righteousness reign in the nations of the world, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, thank you, Jesus. Oh, people of God, let's thank the Lord. Oh, put your hands together for Jesus Christ today. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands. Father, we thank you. Oh, yes, Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. People of God, we need to continue in prayer for this nation. Hallelujah. And for our household. Hallelujah. Because unless the voice of prayer ring louder than the voice of sin. Hallelujah. We will continue to see sin dominating the nation. Hallelujah. Sin dominating the land. But it is time that we rise up for our families. It's time that we rise up for our children and pronounce and decree and declare. Hallelujah. And be judgmental. Yes, be judgmental. Hallelujah. Pass judgment on wickedness. Hallelujah. To, to end this nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. And remember that the word of God says, whatever you decree on earth, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Hallelujah. So far, we have not been doing the binding. Hallelujah. We have been laughing and just sitting down. But now it's time to bind wickedness. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us pray that God will fill us. Hallelujah. Fill us with his Holy Spirit. As we go, as we end this prayer, ask the Lord to fill you with fresh fire. To fill you with fresh fire, fresh anointing. 
Oh, Father, fill us, oh God. Father, fill us with fresh fire. Fill us, oh God, anew. Fill us, oh God, fill me with fresh fire. Oh, fill my children. Fill my wife. Oh, fill our homes with fresh fire. Oh, Father, fill us with fresh fire. Fill this sanctuary. Fill those, oh God, that are praying with us. Oh, Father, fill them with fresh fire. Oh, Father, fill us with fresh fire. In Jesus' name we pray. And let us pray that whatever that we have bound, remain bound. Amen? Amen. Whatever we have loosed, remain loosed. Amen. Hallelujah. And any retaliation against these prayers, oh, let it be met with the judgmental fire of God. Because God himself said in the book of Isaiah 54, he said, surely they shall gather together. He said, but not by me, but whoever that shall gather against the house of God, whoever that shall gather against the people of God, we shall condemn in the name of Jesus Christ. This is God speaking. He said they will gather. And those that will gather because of our, the prayers we have done, the evil forces, the demons, the witches, the wizards, the satanists that will gather against us, against our children, against our businesses, against our finances, because of this prayer. Let us pray that God will send judgment from heaven. That we will send fire. Wherever they mention our names, let earthquake appear there in the name of Jesus. That angels of God, angels of war will appear to defend us in the name of Jesus. Let's go to God in prayer. Oh, Father, those that will rise against us, Father, as your word says that they shall come in one way, but in seven ways shall they flee from us in the mighty name of Jesus. And wherever they mention our names for evil, Father, let, let, let fire appear there. Let fire, let the Holy Ghost fire appear. Let the angels of war appear and scatter them and cut them into pieces and bind them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for the dynamite power of God to blast them in the name of Jesus when they mention our names in that for evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, those that we have bound, may they remain bound forever in the name of Jesus. And the blessings that we have loosed, oh God, the healing, oh God, the angels, oh Father, that we have loosed, oh God, let them remain loose forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.